Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well uh, and safe. So today was a big day, Apple, uh, today is the 10th of November and Apple just made the keynote of the One More Thing and the One More Thing is the new uh, Max with the um, M1 processors from Apple, okay, the new Apple um, Silicon. So uh, it was a big day, it, it is in fact uh, surprising the results, but you know, that is the keynote from Apple. I want to see the real results when the, the reviews begin to appear. Now, they also released to developers the released candidate number two, and that's the reason of this video. I already made the, the, the first one, the release candidate number one, and we'll compare a few things between the first release candidate and this second one. Expect, of course, for a public release on the 12th, okay? Now, let's go ahead and see the build number for the release candidate number one. It was uh, the week before, I believe. And uh, this was the number. They said it was the release candidate number one, okay? But then, uh, when I see on about my Mac, the version is 11.0.1 beta, and this was this is this was the number, okay? 20B5022A, okay? Uh, these are the specs of my machine. Now, if we go ahead and see uh, on this new, the build number, let's go ahead, put here, the build number doesn't say anymore beta, okay? So this is release candidate number two, guys. And the, the, the build number is the 20B28. So I suppose this is the final build that you will see on the 12th okay you uh, the public will see on the on the on the 12th okay guys now the amount that was required for this download um it was uh, it was a long download uh, it is it was about 3.22 i suppose the the release candidate number one as you can see release candidate number two here but the number one was about 3.88 on this machine okay so i don't know on your system how it will be now uh, let's go ahead with the geekbench this this is geekbench number five release candidate number one this is the result for the number one and let's pick the number two the cpu result cpu okay now let's put this organized over here and this is the first one release candidate number one and this is release candidate number two as you can see um, this was this what this kickbench was made you know uh, after the installation so I, I suppose it was still processing some things so we have um, a lower score almost by 100 uh, on the single core and we have a slightly higher results on the uh, multi-core as you can see here is the build for the release candidate number two and this is the build for the release candidate number one now regarding the gpu guys gpu and the metal performance on my discrete uh, graphics the g the, this is the bet uh, this is the uh, yeah this is the release candidate number one and let's put here the release candidate number two on the GPU. GPU. Okay, and let's organize this again. So, uh, a lower score on this is metal. Okay, guys, metal. Release candidate number one and number two. Okay, slightly lower also. Of course, I will make a follow up and tell you uh, if there is, if there are any improvements. By the way, uh, I also took a screenshot if bootcamp was working or not um, this is a new symbol that was already present present on the release candidate uh, number one but uh, on catalina as you know and on uh, other not catalina uh, other betas of big sur it was you know the same image but it said bootcamp or windows okay now you have this logo when you uh, boot on bootcamp now let's put this aside let's put here i like things organized things that are new regarding the previous version 
guys that isn't if we go here on the previous version uh, we didn't saw uh, anything new uh, not on general let's go here to the um, wallpapers i know everyone likes to see if there are any new wallpapers no uh, they still remain the same wallpapers that we saw uh, on the other builds okay i suppose it was on the bet uh, i don't know the beta 10 they released this and on the release candidate they were there and they are still here on the release candidate number two but no new wallpapers no more uh, wallpapers than the ones that they, they already delivered now regarding the <coughs> the youtube regarding youtube and and uh, the um, on safari and uh, regarding the 4k let's put put here 4k 4k video and um let's put here this one and let's check if we have the option for 4k yeah we have the option for 4k if you don't have this option enabled guys okay let's go here let's put this not large but this is our beautiful images uh, if you don't have this option enabled on on uh, safari and when you are seeing youtube videos okay uh you have to go to <clears throat> and i will show you you have to go to safari preferences and then go to advanced and click this show develop menu in the menu bar okay show develop click on this show develop menu in the menu bar and then you go to develop go to experimental features and scroll down till you'll see till let me open safari I hope. let's go to develop again sorry develop to experimental features just for you to see better and you have to enable i don't know okay uh, if you don't you you have to check but if you don't have the 4k enabled on youtube on safari you have to enable these two items the vp9 decoder this one and also this vp9 decoder sw decoder on battery okay and then you have enabled the, the 4k capabilities and also more if your computer <laughs> can handle it um, uh, more definition okay so you have to enable that two features now guys uh, that, that the widgets they still are the same uh, i hope i was hoping they you know uh, were able to put you know uh, here the, cal the the calculator because that's one thing that i use on a regular basis uh, but they didn't i don't know why i always have to go to to the um, you know to my application folder and open the calculator i, I would like to see uh, like it was on catalina we have the calculator available there but we don't have it they also fixed uh, one of the things um that i had uh, that was a problem for me i think they fixed it but um, when i changed my audio source for example uh, from stereo to headphones okay um, the um, sound effects remained uh, on now it is the, the output is my headphones but they remained on um, the 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 previous uh, sound source okay now they are in, in fact uh, selected uh, on the output device so this is fixed i don't know if you have that problem or not check it okay so now if i go to stereo uh, and yeah everything seems to be okay and working again so guys for now this is what i have to show you everything seems to be working okay i'll have to check as you as you can as you can imagine there are uh, apps that these main apps that i have they all work fine but there are some apps that i'm still uh, waiting for them to uh, update by the way there is one more thing that i would like to see it is my 
disk how it is okay after five years yeah seems okay the same speed no throttling here and uh, by regarding since i'm a screen casting let's go ahead and see the performance of my cpu five percent here so it's using my four cores and also hyper threading this is a core i7 the memory usage uh, it's using six of the nine of the 16 available okay so not bad my battery life on the on the previous build was perfect no issues there uh, it is a, a you know a new battery so uh, and it is from 1970 i don't know why <laughs> but this is a new battery this is a 2000 mid 2015 macbook pro and the temperatures guys i should tell you that on the release candidate number one the fans uh, were kicking a lot okay now of course uh, i will check on the next few days and see how things are going for now this is all i hope you like it uh, and i'll see you on the next few days and uh, i'll make a follow-up video stay safe guys all the best bye bye